Welcome back to another episode of Rancho Sodak. Kind of a bitter day out here in South Dakota. And we're starting the morning off by feeding a couple horsies. Pain still hasn't fixed my feeder. If you couldn't tell, we're out here at my girlfriend's ranch right now, her horse ranch. I'm helping with chores this morning and then we're gonna go over and work at her family's farm and we're Bangs vaccinating heifers over there. So I don't I don't know if I've ever been a part of Bangs vaccinating before. It's not something we really do. I guess we don't keep any replacement heifer, heifers, so we don't really do that. We cleaned the stalls out last night and did that. So all we gotta do this morning is feed those, haul a couple buckets of feed out for the other foals. These are a couple of their older, older horses that are out just eating some senior feed, some grain. It's bitter cold out today. If you didn't watch the last video, my girlfriend and her family, they raise um, graining horses and cutting horses and that type of stuff. And they sell the poles then to go off to training and some of them go to shows, some of them go to different things. So they kind of breed for the bloodlines. They have like 45 foals a year, which is quite a few horses to halt or break and take care of. So they got like 30, 30 some foals out here. I don't know how many it is, but they got some bunks, just some horse feed, we fill them up. How you fill a hay feeder? done we're gonna go over to the other ranch farm and start bangs vaccinating those heifers so stay tuned Feel we can right. do this bonk okay we're heading out with four wheelers right now to grab the cow well the heifers and bring them up they're out in one of these lots out here so we'll get them here's john <laughs> start here bring them up same system we ran on the last video but these are all replacement heifers here no sorting so it'll just be straight running them in and it has everybody gets the same team it's uh, a number one for the first quarter and R for one vaccine the vet shield means that I did it and then the last digit is the year so far. okay so they they all get that one everybody gets it. it means that they've been by a veterinarian Sure. Um, so, and honestly, that's really the only thing they need to say that they've been vaccinated. Sure. Everybody likes to have a visual, the orange tag is another visual. Right. Of that. And then now, is there an ID tag you're saying too? Yeah, we're going to stick in an electronic here. Okay. And then we can um, ultrasound in these girls. We can just wand their, their EID and sure. it's linked into Kristen's um, iPad or whatever. Sure. Well, 
Excel spreadsheet and all of her, yeah. Right. Information and then that knows every cow then. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yep. We're trying a mat right here. We're gonna get a couple more right there in the future. That's gonna be good. So if it's 11 by 14, it's big enough then. That's a lot going on up there. I won't get involved with any of that. I'm just gonna help these guys around the alley and then load up when we need to. kind of slip coming in and out of here. I want to get them some mats to put right here coming into the barn. And I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have mats in that whole runway, honestly. They get slippery. Once you get a little manure on that concrete, it can get slippery in a hurry. job is too intense here not at not like at home when you got her on the whole back bend two guys back there and five girls are on the shoot so as long as I get a calf in on time I don't get yelled at
coming in behind me here in a minute but uh it's been going pretty smooth i don't know these girls up here know what's going on i don't they're giving a couple shots a tattoo ear tag an id tag and then she's checking their uh i don't even really know she's measuring something and they have to be a certain measurement to be a good cow and the ones that are too small they don't they end up getting sort of hot. There's one of Sierra's replacement heifers. Pink tag. All right, guys, we had a pretty good day over there at the Hoffman Farm working cows. It went good. Cool seeing a new setup. Everyone over there kind of has their own jobs. We had enough people, probably too many, but it was okay. Didn't have to do a ton of work. I just ran the alleyway and Sierra got to four and it was fun, fun little experience, especially being inside. If we had to work cows at our operation today, I would have froze harder than I did. So thanks for tuning into the video leave a comment down below let me know if you like that video and if you like sierra's horse horses <laughs> <laughs> let me know if you want to see some more videos like that where i go to their farm and work or work with sierra with her horses or anything like that we'll catch you on the next episode of ranching sodak thanks for tuning in peace <laughs>